going to talk about naming geometric solids. A figure is just a shape that takes up space and has three dimensions. We've only learned about prisms and pyramids, and that's all you'll be asked to name on the next test. So let's look at this first shape. We need to find the bases. So bases in a prism are opposite, parallel, and congruent. In this case, it doesn't necessarily mean bottom, right? It just means that across from it, the shape that's the same size and then shape, and it's parallel. So we can use these as the bases. All of the other faces in a prism are rectangles. And uh, prisms and pyramids each have two names, a first name and a last name. The first name is the shape of the bases. So in this case, they are rectangles. So I'm going to call this a rectangular them. This next purple shape is also a prism. The bases are the faces that are opposite, parallel, and congruent. It's sitting on a rectangle, but that's not the face because the rectangle doesn't have another rectangle that's opposite, parallel, congruent. But these triangular sides are opposite, parallel, and congruent, so those are my bases. So the first name is going to tell the shape of the base, so it is a triangular prism. Other faces in that shape are rectangles. This is a rectangle here, and then there's one on the bottom and one on the other side over here. That's another clue that it's a prism. So prisms have bases that are opposite, parallel, and congruent, and all the other faces are rectangles. Here is another prism. Again, this time it's not sitting on its base. Um, there's a rectangle on the base, but across, or on the bottom, but across from that rectangle is not an opposite parallel and congruent rectangle, so that can't be a base. Instead, it's going to be these trapezoids. There's one here in the front, and then another one in the back, and those are the faces that are opposite parallel and congruent. So the first name of this prism is trapezoidal. You'll notice that all the other faces in this um, Oh, I forgot to put prism. The other faces in this prism are rectangles, like the one on the bottom, and then there's one on the top and on the sides. These are rectangular faces, another clue that it's a prism. Moving on to this shape, anytime we have a point across from a base, we have a pyramid. And in this case, there's a rectangle for the base, so it is a rectangular prism. And all the other faces you'll notice are triangles, and that happens every time in a prism, another clue that it's a prism. So a prism has one base, a point across from it, and all the other faces are triangles. Here's another one in this example. Across from the point we have a triangle, so the base of this pyramid is a triangle, so we're going to name it triangular prism, pyramid. And notice all the other faces are also triangles. And lastly, we have another pyramid. We can tell it's a pyramid because it has a point across from a base. And in this case, the base is a five-headed figure called a pentagon. So its first name is gonna be pentagonal. And it's a pyramid. Whoops, I could still. And then all the other faces here are going to be triangle, another clue that it's a pyramid. So when you're deciding between pyramid and prism, remember a prism has two bases that are opposite, parallel, and congruent, and all their faces are rectangles. For a pyramid, it has one base across from a point, and all the other faces are triangles. Thank you for watching.